It's giving you your own life. Mm. Go to the book of Genesis. As I'm talking, about, please start calling now. Go to, before we, we go to Genesis, go to the book of Luke first. Luke chapter 21 verse 15. I'm speaking about determined voices. Determined voices. Now, see, before I talk about determined voices, what happened? Why is this important? But Alfred, God has given everybody his destiny. Yes, sir. Now, a destiny is what God had in mind before you were created. Mm. A destiny is who you are. Yes, sir. What God has predetermined, preordained. Yes, sir. Your life, your glory, like Dr. Chibu is saying, your gift. A man's gift opened doors for him. Yes, sir. But when that destiny is determined by Satan, mm. is determined by man, is determined by spirit, spiritual weakness in high places, is determined by witchcraft forces, you go where you don't want to go. Mm. You see a man want to marry, and when he married to that woman, the destiny will prosper. But because of something is determining your life, they will manipulate you to marry somebody that will kill your destiny. And will divert your divert destiny. Your destiny. Ah. Because you are moving to a place you are not supposed to go there. Hmm. You ask yourself, why did I end here? What am I doing here? How come? How come? You don't know why you are there. But a spirit is determining your life. Hmm. And that's why we're going to go deep. I'm going to show you things. Read that place for me, please. Luke 21, 15. Yes, sir. Hey. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries will not be able to contradict or resist. Did you hear that? Mm. God has given me my destiny. Yes, sir. But for me to sustain my destiny, I have to have power. Mm. So that whoever is determining my destiny, I can say no. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Now, I want us to go into the Bible. That... She said, the determined voice. What is a voice? A voice is anything that draws your attention. If I place this in here now, your mind will just go yes, there. Sir. Now, some people, spiritual weakness are determined how far you can go in marriage. Mm. There are certain families, nobody married cross 40 years. Mm. A lady was telling me that all in their house, everybody divorced at 40 years. Somebody determine how far they can go. That's the pattern in the house. Yes, sir. This one is even greater. It is the voice that determines the patterns. Mm. We call it determined voice. See, without a voice being released, there will never be a pattern. Yes, sir. In the Bible, that's why go to Genesis. Let me show you something. Genesis 49. <clears throat> I want to show you. Please keep calling. Keep calling. There is somebody who are watching me. In your family, God is showing me this thing. In your family, people marry quick and divorce quick. Your mother divorced, married, divorced, married. Mm. Your sister divorced, married, divorced, married. Your brother also divorced, married, divorced, married. And you also, you have divorced and married and about to divorce. Please call that number. I want to pray for you now. Call the 0207 number quickly. I want to pray for you now. There is somebody who are watching me here now. People get uh, uh, money quick. They, they prosper quick. But they get to a point... They hit the wall and all of them come back. Call the number. I want to pray for you. There's somebody you are watching me now. You are watching me now. It's like you are going through miscarriage upon miscarriage upon miscarriage. I want you to call me quickly. I want to pray for you now. There's somebody you are watching me now. The word of knowledge is coming so quick. You are watching mm. me now. You are you're in your family. They don't have more than two children. They mm. don't have more than two children. Everybody have one, two, one, two, one, two. Because there's power determining how far you can go i want you to call me i want to pray for you there is somebody you are watching me now you see premature death in the family people die before their time and i want you to call me quickly i want to pray for you because you are a great destiny you are a potential sitting there watching me you are a power i i, I want you to call me or send me a text message i want to pray for you what did i ask you to read uh, genesis 49 49 read from verse 1 and 2 read, read from verse 1 and 2 quickly Genesis 41, verse yes. 1. 49. And Genesis 49, verse 1. Yes. And Jacob called his sons and said, Yes. Gather together that Get. I may tell you hey. what shall befall you hey. in the last days. Keep reading. Gather together and hear you sons of Jacob. Keep reading. And listen to Israel, hey. your father. Keep reading. Reuben, hey. you are my firstborn. Hey. My might. Now listen here. 
you're going to continue say, mm. Reuben, you are my firstborn. Mm. According to the original concept of God, firstborn supposed to inherit. Yes, sir. God has created you as a leader mm. because you are my firstborn. Yes, sir. God has created you as a covenanter person mm. to rightful inherit me. Yes, sir. But I am going to determine what will happen to you. Mm. You keep you see something mm. there. Reuben, <laughs> hey. and there is a comma there. Yes. You are my firstborn. You are my firstborn. My might. My might. And the beginning of my strength. And the beginning of my strength. The excellency of dignity. Your destiny is supposed to be excellent. Mm. Your destiny is supposed to be dignified. Your destiny is supposed to be powerful. Your destiny is supposed to be a leader. But I, as a father, as a human being, I'm going to show you what will happen to you. I'm going to determine your life. Yes, sir. I'm going to reprogram your life. I'm going to deprogram your life. Mm. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. A man's life was not supposed to be so, but somebody determined how far the life will go. By the spoken word. By the spoken word. That's why Jesus said, I have given you knowledge, wisdom, and mouth mm. that none of your adversary will contradict, will be able to stand against you. Yes, sir. So, you have to know what is managing, manipulating, directing mm. resisting your destiny so that by your own spoken word you can rearrange your life amen see deliverance is understanding and deprogram what they have done and reprogram it again yes sir i was going nowhere hmm. everything i touch fail yes sir until i met dr chibundu hmm. and the thing dr chibundu said to me that who is your father who i never forget that thing who is your mother how far is people life? Mm. What did they achieve? Who are they? How was that? I was confused. Then why would I meet hey, a man and be asking me about my mother? I, I and tell my you. Father? I tell you. You didn't understand. I didn't understand it. And thank God, he was preaching a place, and I went there, and he was talking about the altars, mm. and everything the man was saying was my life. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. And since I begin to, because the man gave me only formula. Mm. A formula is the thing that you work the mathematics. Yes, sir. And when I begin to follow the formula, my destiny change. Within, from 2006, I met him. I begin to make impact. Amen. See, Dr. Chibur was saying something. He said, this destiny was there. But because of something in the family that you came from, and you didn't know how to root it out, they subdue you. Yes, sir. Until you have the understanding. Mm. Bible says Satan has been defeated already. Mm. He has been paralyzed. Yes, sir. He has been made impotent. Amen. He has been beaten. Amen. But how can this power that has been stripped? Are you listening to me? A major general who has become less than a private mm. to defeat me, who I am more than a, 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 a film usher. Yes, sir. Because you don't know who you are. Yes, sir. Jesus said, I'll give you mouth mm. and wisdom. So you have to know who is determining your life is. You read a little bit, you'll see what happened. My might and hey. the beginning of my strength. Keep reading. The excellency of dignity and the excellency of power. Yes, keep reading. Unstable as water, you, you shall are, not uh, excel. Did you hear that? He said, I am going to determine your life. Though you are big, though you are strong, your destiny is powerful. Hmm. But I, as a father, I determine that from henceforth, you shall not excel. Unstable as you are water. Unstable as water. You shall be. You shall be. You will not excel. Hmm. You, 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 please, I want you to bring your ear to me. Hmm. Your mother hit her chest and said to you that you, you will suffer in marriage. I have my mother, sister, who died recently. She was going to marry. And the father said she would not allow her to marry. That particular man. For obvious reasons. Because he said that boy, my that my my grandfather was a teacher. Mm. And um, the boy, I don't know whether the boy was in school or whatever, because he said the boy was a rascal or the boy speaks some evil against him or whatever. So he don't like the boy. Mm. And the woman said, people can change, so I'll marry the guy, the, the mm. girl, the, the man. And the man said, okay, go and marry and we'll see. That's all. That's it. The man didn't say anything. He said, mm. go and marry and we'll see. And that my auntie married and died without having a baby. He married the same man. The same man. And my father, my grandfather said, go and marry and you'll see. That's the way. So 
a woman destiny, a woman potential, a woman greatness mm. was determined. That was not how God made that woman. Mm. But because of a man's spoken word, a generation has been terminated. Jesus. Read a little bit further. You you see what, what, mm. what I'm talking about here. Because you went up to your father's bed, uh -huh. then you defiled it. Yes, keep he reading. He went up to my crouch. Keep reading. Simeon and Levi Simeon are brothers. And, uh, they are brothers, yes. Instruments of cruelty yes. are in their dwelling place. Yes, keep reading. Let not my soul enter their council. Keep reading. Let not my honor be united to their assembly. Keep reading. For in their anger they slew a man. Keep reading. And in their self-will they hamstrung an ox. Keep reading. Cursed be their anger. Keep reading. For it is fierce. Did you hear that? And their wrath. For it that? is cruel. Because of, mm. because of, see, he, Hmm. <laughs> that is not how God created this family. But a father is rearranging their destiny. Hmm. After finishing with Reuben, he came to the second one. He said, you, Simon, and Levi, you are supposed to be this, 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 this. But curse is be your anger. Le Levi, you too, you are my third born. God said, Levi, you are supposed to provide the priest. Hmm. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Because... God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. So Holy Ghost is the third person. Mm. Third is the Holy Ghost. Amen. So you are the third person. You're supposed to provide the priest. You understand what I'm yes, saying? Sir. You're supposed to provide the priest. But I'm bringing a curse into your anger. Mm. Moses was a priest. Yes, sir. But because of the determined voice, Moses couldn't go to the promised land. Mm. Moses was a priest. God said, Moses was the meekest among all the prophets mm. that I have. If there's a prophet among you, I speak to them face to face. face. To face. Uh, 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 I speak to them in dreams. But my servant Moses, I speak to him face, face to face. face. But in Moses' anger, he strike and kill people. A determined voice. I don't know who you are. <clears throat> my dear sister, I don't know what is wrong with you. I don't know why you are struggling. Mm. I don't know... Check yourself. Send me a text message here. I don't know why you alone, you pray very hard, but you go and sleep. Demons are still chasing you. Maybe somebody determine your voice. Maybe there's an altar there in your father's house that your father's worship. Maybe certain things has gone wrong. Because you can see, see, there is something I want to say here. Go to um, Matthew chapter 10, verse 20. Read from verse 19. Let me show you something quickly there. Hallelujah. And then I'm going to read something that will shock you. Matthew 10. Matthew 10. L read from verse 19. From verse 19. Hallelujah. Matthew 10, 19. Mm. But when they deliver you up, uh -huh. do not worry about how or what you should speak. Uh -huh. For it will be given to you in that hour uh -huh. what you should speak. Keep reading. For it is not you who speak, for it but the spirit of your father who yeah, speaks in you. Do you hear that? Mm. The spirit of your father in you will determine how far you can go. Bishop, who, who to the lame man mm -hmm. is that spirit in you? Yes, sir. We are referring here. See, 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 see. He said, he said, Jesus was talking here mm. that wherever you go, don't be afraid. Yes, sir. There's a spirit inside you. To help you amen there's a spirit inside you to speak for you amen there's a spirit inside you to make sure nobody hates you amen he's speaking to his disciple amen now what is happening here is that what did what spirit did my father bring to the house to determine our life mm. there are certain family see let me refer dr chiburu came to our church in december yes sir and he used a quotation in the book of joshua chapter 9 Joshua was given mandate to deliver the whole land to the people. So whoever you stand on his way, he just kill you and destroy it. The power of God was on that man. He was mighty. So after delivering, destroying Jericho, destroying Ai, the next city they were supposed to go 